A special Thai green curry paste is added to coconut milk and oil. Chicken is then added. Palm sugar and fish sauce is also added. Thai eggplant is then added together with some more coconut milk. Finally, I will add bamboo shoots, Thai basil and red chilies. And this is served with jasmine rice. Welcome back to Craving Soon Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today I'm making a new and improved version of my Thai green curry. Now you can make this by making your own green curry paste. I will have that video at the end of this video as well as in the description or you can also use store-bought paste. Either way this process is going to give you a Thai green curry that you see in the restaurants and it's super delicious. Before I go any further this recipe to make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking! To make the green curry paste, start lightly toasting 1 teaspoon of white peppercorns, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, and 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds. Once cool, I'm going to powder the peppercorns, cumin, and coriander seeds. To my food processor, I'm going to add the ground seeds, as well as 20 small Thai green chilies. I'm also going to add six to eight tablespoons of coriander root. Add four cloves of garlic. Next, I'm gonna add in two shallots, a thumb-sized piece of galangal, and one stick of lemongrass. I've just sliced the green part. I'm going to add the peel of a kaffir lime, one teaspoon of shrimp paste, three tablespoons of fish sauce, and a tablespoon of coarse salt. Grind this together. This is perfect the way it is, but if you like it to have more of a green color, add half a cup of coriander leaves, as well as half a cup of Thai basil leaves, and grind this again. This will stay in your fridge for a couple of days to a week. You can also freeze it. In a hot wok, I'm going to add some coconut milk. The idea is to have coconut milk split from the oil, but sometimes that doesn't happen because of the processed coconut milk that we get today. I'm going to use about 100 ml from a 400 ml can. This has started to separate a little bit, but I'm also going to augment it with some more coconut oil. I'm adding one tablespoon of this oil. Next, I'm going to add four teaspoons of my green curry paste. I may add some more later. If you want it spicy, you can add about six to eight teaspoons. Add four kaffir lime leaves. Next, I'm going to add 500 grams of sliced cooked chicken. I just boiled the chicken earlier, so it's about 70 to 80% cooked, and I allowed it to cool down before slicing it. Once these are all added, just toss them in with the curry paste and allow this to coat the chicken. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons, that's 30 grams of palm sugar. I'm also going to add half a chicken bouillon cube. This is about five grams. Add this in. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of fish sauce. This is just to start with and I will add some more later. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of shrimp paste. adding Thai eggplants. I'm going to add four small eggplants and I'm going to slice these. These are about 180 grams. This is what they look like whole. I usually slice them and I soak them in salted water so they don't brown and it also draws out the bitterness. I'm going to add these in and toss them. Add the rest of the coconut milk. 
I'm also gonna add about a half cup of water into the can and add that in as well. Add about two more tablespoons of fish sauce and test for salt. To finish off, I'm going to add half a cup of sliced bamboo shoots as well as one cup of Thai basil leaves. For a little bit of color and a little extra heat, I'm going to add two large finger chilies. These are about one fourth of a cup. If you're using Thai red chilies, remember that these are much spicier, so you can use less. Serve this with jasmine rice and enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Thai green curry. It's one of my favorite curries to have and it packs so much flavor. If you love this video guys, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and don't forget, make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as that you've rung the bell and make sure to tell all of your friends and families about my channel as well. Follow me behind the scenes on all my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and TikTok. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.